Hello everyone. This is Nidhi. In this tutorial, we will explore how we can manage inventory file for the Ansible playbook. Let's take an example here. We have a clustered application where you have two application nodes and one database nodes. Now, and you have different roles for each of the application nodes. You have created different playbooks like install Java and install SQL Server. So how you will make sure that install Java playbook will run only on the application nodes and the SQL Server playbook will run only on the database nodes. For that, you have to maintain the inventory files. You have to create the tags in your inventory files in such a way that it will distinguish, okay, this tag is applicable for only application nodes and this tag applicable only for the database nodes. So let's take an example here. I have created this sample inventory files. Here I have put one tag like all. It means I have considered all the servers here. So here you can see I have put application 0, application 1, database 0. And it's just a naming convention. You can put whatever you like. And the second is application nodes where I have provided these two application nodes. And there is a third tag database nodes where I have provided the database nodes. And this is the last tag, all nodes exclude the second one. So I wanted to have one tag where I want to have some playbook that I don't want to run on the second application node. So here I have provided this tag and application zero and database. In such a way, you can create as many tags as, as you want if you have a requirement accord, if you have a requirement like that. So this is how you have created the inventory file. I can show you in the GitHub repo also. So this is how it looks like. You can just create it in your host files. Now, how you will use it, how you will call it in your main.yaml file. So whatever tag we have created, we have to use those tags when we call when we use when we call any roles in our playbook. So let's take an example here. So first scenarios. First, we always do the SSH connectivity. So we always check that before we execute any other task that SSH connectivity needs to be happen for all the nodes. So here we have put host all. So it will check for all the host. It will check the connectivity. Now we have a second requirement where we just want Java installation only on the application node. So here we have put application node zero colon. Zero colon means it will take all the nodes from zero till whatever it finds. So it will find application nodes zero and application nodes one. It will run it in the loop and it will install Java on both the application nodes. Now you have a requirement. Suppose you just want to install any task here. I have just taken an example of Java, but you can have any example on just first application nodes. Then how you will do that? So here you can put the first you can put the number here specifically whatever is here defined. If you want this one, then you put this one. If you have this one, you can put this one like that. So here I have put in this way. Now you have a requirement. You want to install Java only on first application node and database nodes and you want to exclude the second application nodes and it's I'm just taking an example of Java. It could be of anything. I'm just telling how you can use the tags and how you need to call it in your main.yaml file. So here I have put this tag and here again zero colon. So it will execute on all the two nodes first application and the database nodes. So this is how you can create as many tags as you want. And this is the this is how you can call it from your main.yaml file. So I have created this sample inventory, but yes, you can customize it as per your project need. But yeah, this tutorial will definitely help you how to maintain the inventory file, how to use the tags in your inventory file for the different nodes. Thank you.